peeps and salutations and this is tech plays here with sonic generations and we're technically continuing the same let's play but we're doing a different game in the same let's play it's a two games in one type you know, if you get the point you get the point you remember like i want to say like seven years ago when like let's players were doing the insane trilogy and they would treat all three games as one long let's play yeah that's what i'm doing with these two games just the let's play is not as long and there's only two games <laughs> neither of these games are as long as my crash 2 let's play so that should tell you actually they might be longer if i ever do like a crash warp let's play that'll probably be shorter than both these individual games but We'll see, we'll see. In terms of Crash 1 and 2 though, they're both longer than both sides of Sonic and Shadow Generations. If you're judging them individually, if you put them together, then yeah, they're obviously longer than those games, but yeah. We're playing Green Hill, and I know Sonic fans are so sick of seeing this level, and I am too, but like... There are two games I give Green Hill 100% pass in, and that is Sonic Mania and Sonic Generations. Didn't really care for it. I honestly didn't really give a fuck about it in Frontiers one way or another. Like, it didn't annoy me. It did annoy me in Forces, I'll tell you that much, because they butchered the hell out of it in Forces. But in terms of like frontiers, due to like the due to their in-universe explanation of like the cyberspace, uh, basically, if I remember correctly, I think there was like an in-universe explanation that the cyberspace was using like Sonic's memories or something, and I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that excuse. But forces forces did not have to butcher one of the most iconic levels of the series like that. Just no, it did not. Sonic Mania and Sonic Generations, though, they get a pass because they did it justice. And I actually prefer Green Hill in both those games over Sonic 1, so... Yeah, do with that what you will. I know I just probably pissed off some Sonic 1 stands there, but yeah, whatever. What's going on? You having a party or something? Surprise! Aw, you guys! It's kinda impossible to surprise you. She totally got me this time. I had no idea. Yeah, right. Happy birthday, Sonic. Hope you like this. Like it. I love it. What? Sonic, ah. What is that? What's it doing?
And yeah, here we are, entering the white space, or at least the Sonic Generations version of the white space, because obviously the one in Shadow Generations resembles uh, Sonic Frontiers, and the one in Sonic Generations is just a 2D level select. Yeah, that's the difference. Uh, that Shadow Gems did it way better. But then again, if Sonic Generations never did it in the first place, Shadow Generations couldn't have won up it, so... You gotta give respect where respect is due. It was done with Sonic Generations first, even if it was, like, a really, like, base-level idea there. And then Shadow Generations perfected it by combining it with the, uh, Frontiers formula a little bit. I think Shadow Generations mixes the stage gameplay with the open zone gameplay perfectly. Like, I feel like... The next, Son like the Sonic Frontier sequel, should do something closer to Shadow Generations than in it did to s than Sonic Frontiers. And I mean that. Like, I feel like... Okay. Maybe, like, a little more open zone action than Shadow Frontiers, because Shadow Fr Frontiers barely focuses on it. But I do feel like... They should focus more on, like, the stages that you play through and have, like, the open zone be less giant, less empty. Because, like, Frontiers was a good game. It's a solid 7 out of 10. I think it deserved its, like, 70-whatever, like, score it got. Like, I think that was perfect. Because that's what it is, it's a 7 out of 10. But then Shadow Generations is a 9 out of 10. And you know what Shadow Generations did? It focused on the stages. And I know there are going to be people out there, but like, Shadow Generations is like 3 and a half hours, and Frontiers is 20 hours, so obviously Frontiers is better because longer game. And to those people, I have to say no. Quantity does not beat quality in my opinion. Like, I am a strong believer in that when it comes to video games. There are tons of games I love that are between, like, three hours long and 15 hours long that would mop the floor with any six, any 40 to 60 hour game, no problem. Like, I, like, they are way better than any 40 to 60 hour game, and I will die on that hill. Now, there are some amazing games that are in 30s, like 30 hour long games, you know, like 30 to 30 to 35 hour long games. There's some amazing games in that time frame. There's some, some amazing games. There, I could name probably at least one really fantastic game between, like, for each, like, length between three hours and 35 hours that's really good. And I don't mean like each length by like one per hour. I more so mean like one by every few hours. Like for example, for the three, for three to six hours, I could say, you know, I could say Crash 4 or Sonic Generations or Shadow Generations or Sonic, uh, Sonic Rush Adventure or, um, There's a bunch of examples, man. For six to ten hours, I could say Thanks, Resident Evil 2 Remake. I, I could say... I just a bunch of stuff. I don't care if there's a cutscene going on, I'm just gonna keep talking. Well, you're safe I could say, uh... What's, what's another good example of a game that like Bioshock. Is it just me? For or ten to fifteen hours, I could say RE4 Remake. For fifteen to twenty I hours, I could say Sonic Frontiers. For 20 to 30 hours, I could say, uh, I could say Final Fantasy VII Remake, I could say, uh, RFL, I could say, no, Christ Stars in the 30 hour mark, okay, 30 to 40 hour, 30 to 35 hour, I could say Christ Star, I could say, uh, I'm trying to think here, I'm trying to think here. The point is, there's a bunch of games, like, I could say that are good between those hours. I cannot name one game I ever enjoyed that was longer than 40 hours. Hmm. Unless it's like a game like Warframe or Minecraft where like it keeps going on and on. Like it ends when you want it to end. And you can just keep going. You can keep exploring new content and all that. Like those kind of games. Those Not counting those. 
I cannot name one game longer than 40 hours that I've ever enjoyed. You wanna know why? There's so much padding in games like that. So much, so many boring sections, so much repetitiveness. Like, I just can't stand them. Oh, here we are. We are, here we are on one of my favorite, like, Sonic Generation stages. Not really on the act I enjoy as much. Like, okay, the 2D classic Sonic act of uh, Chemical Plant is definitely one of the better Sonic, uh, classic Sonic levels, but I definitely, like, prefer the modern Sonic Chemical Plant over it. Uh, with Green Hill, it's kind of like an even match. Like, I, I know I really didn't talk about Green Hill, but it's kind of an even match between classic and modern. They're kind of equal on that part. We'll get the Sky Sanctuary too. In science, it, ah, in Sky Sanctuary, I think I prefer the classic Sonic run of it. In Speed Highway, I prefer the modern uh, Cityscape modern. Seaside Hill classic. Uh, Crisis City definitely classic. Rooftop run modern. Uh, I kind of don't enjoy either. Of, of Planet Wisp, but I do prefer the classic just barely. Does, what does that equal? Is that like evenly matched? Because Green Hill's like both. And then that's one point for Modern for Chemical Plant, one point for Classic for Sky Sanctuary, two for Classic for Speed Highway, two for Modern for City Escape, three for Classic for Suicide Hill. Four for Classic for Crisis City, three for Modern for Rooftop Run, and then neither for <laughs> Planet Wisp. That's one extra for Classic. Actually, you know what? I would give Green Hill to Modern. I think I do prefer the Modern stage for Green Hill just slightly, so that does even it up. I'm not giving Planet Wisp to either. I know I said, like, in a shadow in one of the shadow generations parts that i do prefer the classic planet wisp level just a little more but it's still terrible like they did planet wisp dirty in this game like i'm not kidding it's the only like stage in the game that i can actually call bad i would much rather go play colors and play that planet wisp it kind of makes me wish they did like Aquarium Park or something like that, like instead, but I kind of get why Planet Wisp won. Like the environment of Planet Wisp is, uh, is, while it's not as interesting as like Aquarium, something like Aquarium Park or Asteroid Coaster or Starlight Carnival, it's more beautiful to look at, kind of. And the original Planet Wisp was well designed. So I kind of get like why it won. And also on top of that, they already have two water levels with Chemical Plant and Seaside Hill. So going in a third would have probably been a bit overkill. But there's a solution to that. I would have personally, like if I was choosing, if I would, like had the sole choice, like the, the, if I had like the deciding vote, for the stages for uh, the original Sonic Generations. I would have picked Aquarium Park for Sonic Colors, or Asteroid Coaster, or Starlight Carnival, any of those three. But let's say I'll go with Aquarium Park, because that's my personal favorite stage from that game. Let's say I go with Aquarium Park, right? That means we have three water runs, so I have to do something to fix that. Swap out Seaside Hill. I already mentioned I hate modern seaside in this game. While I can't call it bad, like I said, like the only stage in this game I can call bad at all is like Planet Wisp. I really don't like modern seaside hill. So if I gotta get rid of it or chemical plant, it's seaside hill anyway. So let's say I get rid of seaside hill. What am I replacing it with? Well, that's an easy one. Replace it with Frog Forest. Why? We have no forest levels in this game. We have too many city levels too, so this ain't wh where I would stop. No. And... Okay, let's act like I don't have the Shadow Generations knowledge at all. Let's act like I don't have that knowledge. 
Okay. Backtrack on me saying Frog Force. Let's choose Egg Fleet instead because I just thought of something. I don't have the knowledge of Shadow Generations. This is back in 20, 2010, 2011, whatever the development was happening. I get to choose the stages. Kingdom Valley instead of Crisis City. Egg Fleet instead of uh, Seaside Hill. Aquarium Park instead of Planet Wisp. And that would be it. That would literally fix the whole game for me. In my opinion. Just swap out those three stages for those three stages. And the lineup would have been legendary. And I mean that. And obviously, like, I I have stages in Sonic Unleashed. I prefer over Rooftop Run as well. But Rooftop Run is so good in Generations, I don't feel like it needs to be swapped out. I feel like it's fine. And the only reason I'm swapping out Crisis City is because it's the least good of the city levels in the game. And we have four of them, so like swapping one out would just do a lot of good, in my opinion. But let's say, let's say I do swap out. I do choose to swap out uh, Rooftop Run. What do I swap it with? You might be asking. Well, Dragon Road. Easy choice, Dragon Road. I would even... I would even go further and make it Dragon Road Knight. And yes, I know the Werehog isn't in Sonic uh, Generations, but that's where the interesting part comes in. It would be Dragon Road Knight with the Dragon Road Knight music and all, but you're playing as modern Sonic, not the Werehog. That's what I would have done. I think that would have been really cool because Dragon Road Knight has the best music in all of Sonic Unleashed. And on top of that, having a like a I'm Sonic Unleashed Knight level island. with modern boost Sonic would have been an interesting twist. Just my we'll thoughts. Figure it out later. Our friends come first. Sonic, I'll be sure to return the favor next time around. Not really worrying about that right now, Amy. Wonderful! Now let's move on to Sky Sanctuary. And you may notice, like, me talking about all this, I didn't swap out any of the classic stages. There is one I would swap out. If I had to, like, if you if you told me I had to switch out a classic stage, there is one I'd swap out, and it's this one. And I love Sky Sanctuary and Generations. I actually do. I like both acts a lot, especially the classic act. I love the classic act of Sky Sanctuary. So, like, this isn't similar to Crisis City. This wouldn't be because it needs to happen. It would just be because there's a stage in Sonic 3 and Knuckles I prefer over it. A few stages actually and since I already have like in my like hypothetical like generations lineup I already have chemical plant and I already have uh, a crayon park hydrosity would have been my top pick but we can't choose it because I do like a crayon park more than hydrosity zone so we're gonna have to leave hydrosity out so can't pick that one so that that narrows down our choices we have lava reef as the first choice and since I got rid of Crisis City, it would be cool to have, like, a lava-themed level. Um, but that's not the only option. There's also Marble Garden, which is a really good zone. And since Sky Sanctuary already borrows, like, one of the main mechanics from Marble Garden, the little, like, tops that you ride on as Classic Sonic, it wouldn't really be, like, it would kind of be the perfect zone or the perfect stage to, to replace it with, in my opinion. And even though I like Rob, Lob, I said Lava. Even though I like Lava Reef more than uh, Marble Garden, I do think Marble Garden would have been the perfect pick if you can't, like, if we had to switch out Sky Sanctuary. I think Marble Garden would have been the perfect, like, swap out. But say, but say there's also Ice Cap. 
Which, Ice Cap, I don't really care for the zone that much, especially since, like, the version of Sonic 3 I play kind of had butchered music on it. But, uh, with Ice Cap, it would more so just be to have an ice level. And there's so much we could, there's so much you could do with Ice Cap. You can even, like, you could pull what they did with some of the other levels and generations where they pulled, like, gimmicks from other zones. Like, you know, here, like, they added the Marble Garden Tops to Sky Sanctuary, or how, like, in, uh, uh, what was it? There was another level later on they added, like, a mechanic from another stage, I just forget what it was. I think it might be Green Hill, I think it might be Seaside Hill. I think it might be Seaside Hill, but I don't remember. But they could pull something like that, like, you could take Ice Cap Zone, but then add, like, mechanics from Cool Edge, or, like, uh, you could add mechanics from Cool Edge from Sonic Unleashed. Or maybe like, I don't know, throw in something from Asteroid Coaster. That would be kind of cool. Just do stuff like that. This is my thoughts. You could also add like, okay, since like, in this, in this theory we're using like, Ice Cap, right? And like I was saying, I would like to see Lava Reef for uh, Lava Reef for Marble Garden. Use a mechanic from one of those levels and make it work. You know, there's mechanics from those levels. I'm sure you can like work in. But no, my choice would definitely be Marble Garden. I know I'm like talking like a bunch about like Ice Cap as an option, but no, Marble Garden is definitely like my pick if I were to place it. This is kind of an interesting, like, thing. If I didn't only have, like, about a minute left to commentate, I would actually, like, go on a full tangent on if I had to swap out every stage in the game, what I would swap them for. Because I've already swapped four of them. <laughs> so I will say one more. I'll, I'll get one more out of the way, okay? I'll get one more. Let's talk about uh, City Escape. I love City Escape. It's one of my favorite stages in this game. But let's talk about if I had to replace it. I would probably replace it with Radical Highway. And again, this is like me not having the Shadow Generations knowledge because this is back like if I was choosing like the stages for Sonic Generations 10 years ago. Not 10 years ago, like 14 years ago. But anyway, we're going to be ending it off here. So, bye.